their set nest a cattle stock tank out of a old tire that we ordered online up from Nebraska. Uh, I was going to make a video, kind of forgot, but about halfway through the process now and I figured I could explain just about everything good as I could have at the beginning, but we, first of all we dug our water line, dug it, laid our pipe, filled it, got our T coming up here where our pressure is going to be coming from. We will be having, we put a female right here so we can plug in a uh, a male version of whatever we need for a float. Um, right now, uh, my dad's headed back to get some more concrete because we, we put in at the bottom of this tire, you know, it's raised up where the ram is, we put in a full a full skid steer bucket of sand on the bottom of this. We figured that'd be enough uh, filler. And there's probably about, uh, we thought about 10 inches. Turns out there's probably more like 14 inches of space to fill up with quick creep. Uh, so he's going back to get more quick creep, but we got hog wire panel in here for our rebar. And uh, basically we're filling this full. We're gonna fill it level with concrete quick creep up to here level with the, this rim feed and kind of slope it up and come right up to the top of this female so that if cows do end up getting in here then if they break off this top part this will still be in the concrete still be good hopefully uh, but we'll do that we are going to put in some uh, guards for that we'll probably lag bolt some angle iron into the side here of this tread and come up yay high and either put some barbed wire or sucker rod or weld something across there so cows aren't apt to jump in there and try to cool off in the summertime but to uh meet government standards we had to put a six foot apron of something we used uh some blue shale uh probably the cheaper option around here, probably not the longest lasting, but I think here it'll last us just good enough. Once cows start walking in there, it'll pack it in. Made it nice and level, so we'll see. We'll see how that concrete sets up. Our plan is to fill that up dry with quick creep, like I was saying, and then we're gonna fill fill the tank with water about halfway and submerge all that quick creep and about six to eight inches of water, leave it for three days, and then we'll uh, see how it sets up. Uh, one big thing is that, that sand we poured in, I made sure and I packed, packed it way in there with this shovel, shovel handle, and same thing with this quick creek. When we get in there, I've been packing for about 20 minutes. I'll probably go for another 20 once I catch my breath, but. Make sure you pack that nice and deep in there. I think once you get the water in, set in here and over the concrete, the weight of that water will kind of set that tire on that concrete and see it make a good seal from everything I've read online. So we'll get a video a couple months from now, see how it turns out. Okay, we got a two year, two and a half year update on this tire tank. Um, we put this in, whatever. Couple years ago and you can see the shell we put in this is original we didn't add any it's kind of dug out around here a little bit but still you know not underneath the tire line uh, we ended up uh, if you remember we we did the concrete kind of made a slight um, dome in the middle there came up with our pipe in the center and uh, just kind of rigged up that that ball valve uh, the water comes from up that hill there to this trench up the bottom just gravity flows from from up there and uh so far it's been good the it's still about perfectly level we did add this just to keep um cows from wanting to get up in there we didn't have any problems with it but we thought we might uh so we just put that cattle flannel in there for that uh seems to be working pretty good we had this had this stocked with uh 40 head over the last two two summers 
so it's kept up well and uh yeah so far so good